evening, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. I'm Thomas Style, Director of University Relations at the University of Liberia. Uh, I want to say welcome to the very special presentation on our Fender campus in Louisiana, in Montserrat County. Uh, having waited for a while for the development of a new platform that will do a seamless enrollment of students or candidates who took entrance exam in the last cycle 2022, we now have a presentation to be made to the public and to candidates who have been waiting since the turn of the year. Today we have the president of the University of Liberia, uh, the head of the enrollment services, and the technical head of the team that developed this platform. We're going to have a brief remark from the president, followed by presentation of this digital platform, and after that, the formal launching. So, before much ado, I would like to hand over to the president of the University of Liberia, uh, who is going to lead this. But before that, I want to say this presentation is on all of our university platforms. We also have it live on the University of Liberia radio station, Box FM, And at this juncture, I would like to invite uh, Professor Reverend Dr. Julia Joel Gonzalo Nelson Jr. to lead us into this special presentation. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas, from our University Relations Office. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are continuing the process to brighten the light at the University of Liberia, the Lux in Tenebris, the Light in Darkness. Our digitization process at the university is moving to another level. And let me express gratitude with our Vice President for Academic Affairs, uh, Dr. Moses Morozina, our Vice President for Information and Communication Technology, Dr. Dara Wickens, the Office of Enrollment Services, the Registration Enhancement Committee, our IT team, for a job well done. We now have a software product to have our incoming student to do online admissions to the University of Liberia. Our Office of Enrollment Services, the Registration Enhancement Committee, the Office of Information Communication Technology, and the Office of the Vice President of Academic Affairs that supervise this exercise will work with us and work with all of you today, this evening, to lead us in the process for our colleagues to be able to have an opportunity for the young men and women who were successful on the University of Liberia 2022 first and second entrance exams to now begin the process for admissions into the University of Liberia. So at this moment, I will turn over to our team to then share and I will come back at the appropriate time for the official launching of the online admission process at the University of Liberia. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Nosebe, the Registrar of the University of Liberia will now lead the technical team. Yeah, thank you. And thank you to everyone, thank you, President. And thank you to all those who made it possible for the be what we have today. That we all say the University of Liberia is no exception to the rights of all universities around the world. Why things are being digitized, make life easier for our students. So that like the president always says, we want to see our students lying in the bedroom in the platform land, the university have easy access to the university. Sometime years ago, we started this process. Today, we are the process now where students will not sit at home, even pay their fees at home, submit their document through their mobile apps or through their computers, laptops, or phones, and make life easy for us so the students will be able to so even transition this process. If you submit a document online, you just rest assured if all documents met. The standard of the university, you will receive your letter online. 
So as we can like show you, and as we move on to see what we have for you in stock, we will carry on the demonstration for you to see. So we will now turn forward to the system administrator who will demonstrate for us so that we can our students to get knowledge of what we are doing. Thank you. Okay, I'm a doctor in the field. The chairperson for the Resident Enhancement Committee. I was working through on how to apply for admission using the UL online admission application. So, to do this, you go to the UL website and look in the upper web corner where you have admission application, click on it. If you click on that, it takes you forward to the admission portal. To begin a new admission, click on new application. If you are filling in your form and you didn't finish, and then you click and uh, you, uh, you have some issues and now you have the problem, you can come back and then begin the process by searching for your entrance as the same number. So for a first time person, you click on new application. So I will click right there. And as you will open, we say different windows. I will form a category. We have different set of students that we go at the UN for the first time. And some of them have been before. So I will do for you the one that I'll be coming from high school to attend a year that I get after I took my engine. So I'll, you have a, in your admission requirement and you need to have and the listing are there so you can go to them. Make sure that you have them all to move to and then click on this. So the first thing they ask you for is the SN number. So by what my SN number? That's my SN number, and then I, would, I choose the SN I took. So I took the SN in 2020 for the second entrance exam. And first do is testing. And last thing is application. You need is a mission, and then they ask me for my address. Okay. That kind of mission is the same as my current address, so we'll put it immediately. And where do I live? Kakata Highway. My city is in Akun Blues right now, and then am I married? Yes, I'm married. And then I'll upload my profile photo. So I'll find on my computer. Where I have my profile photo. Okay, so you have three types of sense for my follow the JPEG, the PDF, and the MPG. So I will choose for now. Okay, I'll go back to the factor one with the JPEG. So a female, and then I save. And I save. If there's an issue that we say anything behind there, so it will tell me to know you can go back. So for now, everything's okay. I can go ahead. And then I choose my gender, female, my place of birth, my order, my email, telephone number, and my name I'm on the viewing. On what phone? So I have my national identity, so I'll be using my national ID card, and then I will type in the number. And date of birth, I was born at this time, and I will type it in. Do I have disability? Yes or no? If I have, I click on this, and then I check the list. If I do not have disability, I don't have to click here. So. I don't choose anything from that list. So I click on save. 
Because that means the circle is here, I put the less. And then who is half school at King Fon? Same half school person, you don't want to put it in the school, you don't want to put it in the school. And take me a PSC program. My student admission tab is on a graduate. And now you're going to our school system, which program I'm going to take. I'm taking a teacher that's from Science College. And then they don't want to be the particular place. I want to choose in a month. And then whatever phone I'm using, if I have a regular phone, a public phone, or a smartphone, I choose a smartphone because I have a smartphone. My parents' information, I don't need. Contact number, million to put in. Now, at this stage, they ask me to upload my document. So I'm going to choose from there, they ask me for my transcript, my passport diploma. So I have to, to be sure that I submit all of these documents to the platform as you upload them and submit them. Health certificate. Wire certificate. You also ask me for the code for the wire certificate. They are still no one, and that pin code is not on that card. So you okay all the numbers, and then we we'll, we'll need them. So you have to upload again. You must upload. And the national identity I'll be asking for, I have to also upload that document. In this place, we are asking for a mobile transaction receipt. I mean, add you. So, when you pay your money, that number you see, like I said, transaction add you, you upload that. If you finish with this process, okay, let's talk about recommendation also. So, I upload this one. Okay. And then I click on submit. So, again, if you all that have inputted, if anything goes wrong, I can't take go back. And now I'll answer this one, I'll put in sound plus three. That will tell you always. So that will be 10, right? If you miss it, you can go further. And then I submit. So as you can see, you see the other of several save, and then my application is completed. Thank you. Okay. Um, so thank you. Thanks uh, very much to. Okay, thank you very much to the Dean of uh, Central College, who is also the head of this technical team. Uh, as you saw in the demonstration, it's a very easy process. I was actually doing the timing, it took less than 10 minutes, uh, I think way less than 10 minutes, around 5 to 6 minutes. So if you have all of your documents ready and within the space of 6 minutes, once you have done your payment to mobile money, it's going to be easy and you have no reason to leave your bedroom. So I think this is very transformational. We want to say thanks to the team, but I'd like to tell you what the president of the University of Latin who will formally launch this platform. Thank you, the Dean Nippi and uh, Assistant Professor Sengbe from our registrar from OES and your colleague uh, Ramsey, who from the unit and the team that prepared this hardware for us. Let me inform our incoming students that candidates must use their entrance ID number to access the system to get a re echoing. Those of you from Division 1 and 2, candidates must use their WIAC number. Transfer students will use the original ID number from the school they are coming from to access the system. If you can do this, we believe that from today, Thursday, April 20th, to the 31st of May 2023, we will have this exercise for admission of our students coming to the University of Nigeria. We know there are six to 8,000 plus students coming. 
I would believe that this online platform will assist all of us, the university and the incoming students, to have a process that will make it easy for our incoming students. Will there be challenges? Yes, there will be challenges. But if you have any challenge, yes, make sure to contact and then they will assist you in that particular process. So right now, on behalf of the university administration, our administrators, faculty, staff, and students, I'm happy on this Thursday, April 20th, to officially launch the online mission process for the University of Liberia. In the name of God, the Creator, God, the Savior, and God, the Comforter. Amen. Congratulations to the team. Okay, so on our note, we want to say thank you for following this broadcast. Those following via Lux FM and to our online platforms. The system has been formally launched by the president of the University of Nigeria. The technical team is ready to receive your, your admission documents. We have our offices open. Hard lounge will be announced to the appropriate platform. So beginning Monday, if you encounter any issue, Please make sure you get to the University Relation or the Office for Enrollment Services, the OIT. Hotline numbers will be given on Monday. But as of now, the platform is launched by the President and you can begin submitting your document. The wait, is, the wait has been very long and now it's over. So I want to say thanks for watching and keep following our progress.